Hello, trading is closed on July 25th, 2019. Let's go over our calls. Um, we said unless we gapped up, we looked for lower prices. This was our target and that printed. We said if we gapped under this low, it should be an all day drop, but we didn't gap under the low. Looked for the pattern with the uh, early high, but said even in retrospect, might be tough to recognize, and that's what we got. We had a confusing picture because we had a new high in futures. That should be seen in real time at some point. Doesn't have to be soon, but usually it is. Might seem a little bit gutsy to see this straight line move up and say we're going to drop. But if you look at the last picture in the first chapter of my book, you'll see the exact same pattern in reverse. Where we have a consolidation and a straight line drop into the close. The next morning we gapped up over that. Oh, I should say and there was a BJT target which said the drop wouldn't stick. The pattern is not all that rare. And if you look for a target here in this straight line move up encompassing all of the last hour um, you can grit your teeth and go against the trend well during the day me jt said this rally was false that prices would at some point undercut this low and find support there which happened these lines are also me jt resistance areas be nice if it worked that well every day. Well, let's review our calls and then make a prediction for tomorrow. Well, I predicted today was going to be Wednesday, and that was killed before the open because it was Thursday. We said it was an early high, it might be a regular, hard to recognize. We said if we didn't get follow through, it was negative. We got the lower target. We said 50% chance of gapping down. We didn't gap under this and going under it in pretty much a straight line after the gap makes it kind of confusing. But there wasn't a gap, so we didn't get the straight line moved down. Well, how about tomorrow? Tomorrow's pattern has the early low unless we move down sharply. In the first one to two hours, day typically rallies into the close and hits the high of the day in the final hour. Now we gapped down, hit a new low. But as you see in the previous picture, we closed over all these lows. It's a positive pattern, should lead to higher prices unless we gap and promptly undercut all the lows. Most likely pattern here, here's your wall, here's your hole in the wall gap. It's an unstable pattern. These things fill, and although they don't have to fill quickly, usually they do. By tomorrow or on occasion that Monday's open. And so the most likely thing, absent gapping down, is we have an early low in the first one to two hours, rally all day, fill the gap, go over the high of the wall, and find resistance there. You have a new high in futures. Doesn't have to print anytime soon, but futures prices and cash prices tend to reflect the same range. And right now that isn't what we see. So at some point you want to see the cash equivalent of this price, which is 30.26.25 print in real time. So. Call for tomorrow. Avoid gapping down. Should be a rally day, probably into the close. Overtake this high and find resistance. And that's today's call.